Hello, I am Dr. Anirudh. I am a dental surgeon uh, at Toothpicks Dental Healthcare, Jainagar. The purpose of an OPG and IOPA is uh, uh, different in dentistry. Well, OPG is something uh, which gives you a full scan of uh, your mouth. It kind of gives you uh, multiple sites in one X-ray. However, uh, it will also give us uh, the vital structures that are around the tooth, like the sinus, maybe the, where the nerve uh, is passing and uh, if there is any kind of a pathology uh, inside, like a cyst or a tumor, the identification of that can be done uh, using uh, an OPG. It will also give us an uh, idea of how the uh, joints are, the TMJ, the, the temporomandibular joints are. It will also give us uh, an indication uh, for an implant or you know during the diagnosis of an implant uh, procedure. This kind of helps us in uh, uh, identifying the kind of bone quality, the kind of teeth that is present, the treatment that has been uh, done to other teeth in one. However, an IOPA is a smaller x-ray, probably uh, a lot of them would have seen that in uh, a clinic uh, setup. This is taken for uh, treatments like root canal treatment or to identify anything that is within the tip of the root, yeah, like abscess or uh, maybe a cyst around the tip of the tooth, which we call a, a periradicular uh, uh, lesions or a periapical lesion that we call. So IOPA is more uh, clearer for a single tooth. It can identify the number of roots for the tooth. It can identify if there is any kind of a fracture line on the individual tooth. So these are the two different uh, types of x-rays that uh, are part of dentistry. However, there are many other kind of x-rays. But importantly, it's OPG and IOPA that we uh, regularly do in clinical setting.